Hi, I'm Linwood Barclay, and I'd like to read to you from the opening of Far From True. They decided Derek was the one who should get into the trunk. Before heading off, the four of them, Derek Cutter included, thought it would be cool to smuggle someone in, not because they couldn't afford a fourth ticket, that wasn't the issue, they just felt the situation demanded it of them. It was the sort of thing you were supposed to do. After all, this was the last night they'd ever have the chance. Like so many other businesses in and around Promise Falls these days, the Constellation Drive-In Theater was packing it in. What with multiplexes, 3D movies, DVDs, movies you could download at home and watch in seconds, why go to a drive-in except maybe to make out? And given how much smaller cars had gotten since the drive-in was first conceived, even that wasn't much of a reason to watch a movie under the stars. Still, even for people of Derek's generation, there was something nostalgic about a drive-in. He could remember his parents bringing him here for the first time when he was eight or nine and how excited he'd been. It was a triple bill, the movies becoming successively more mature. The first one was one of the Toy Story flicks. Derek had brought along his Buzz Lightyear and Woody action figures, which was followed by some rom-com Matthew McConaughey thing back when he was only doing crap, and then a Jason Bourne movie. Derek had barely managed to stay awake until the end of Toy Story. His parents had made a bed for him in the back seat so he could zonk out when they watched Features 2 and 3. Derek longed for those times when his parents were still together.